All right, we got some participants here already. Let's just wait uh, 30 more seconds for people to join. Yeah, sure. Shall we get started, Barbara? Yeah, I mean, we can. Anyways, sure. someone who missed the beginning, maybe they were gonna get the recording anyways. So uh, welcome to the webinar with Smoovo and uh, Beyond Pricing. So my name is Hugo. I am the Director of Digital Marketing here at, at Smoovo. And uh, other side of the line, there's Barbara. Uh, you wanna say hi, Barbara? Hi, everyone. <laughs> um, so yeah, so welcome to this webinar. So basically uh, what we're trying to do here is, uh, you know, we are almost at the end of the year and there's a lot of, a couple of changes coming as well with the Airbnb pricing. And uh, yeah, we, we kind of been uh, in a weird year now with, with Corona. So I think uh, with the new uh, news coming ahead in regards to the vaccine, I think uh, pricing for next year is a very, a uh, good topic and yeah, I mean, Smoovo's idea is basically to provide you the value in that term so we can, uh, so you can guys think about uh, how you can attack the pricing for next year. Um, just a quick adds up. So I'm also, I also, I'm also host. I also own a couple apartments and um, I do, I see a lot of value in terms of uh, smart pricing um because you know the variables are enormous in terms of changing the pricing and all that manual work so yeah we think this is a, a very high value for you guys so i hope you guys like it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start for everyone that uh, doesn't come from smoovo side and doesn't know what what smoovo is i basically prepared a small presentation just four slides about smoovo so you know uh what we are basically and uh what we what kind of service we provide so um, Smoovo, we call it as a, or we call ourselves an all-in-one vacation rental software. And um, why all-in-one is, is basically because we don't really do any difference at all in terms of the tools that we provide to you as a host. So uh, as you know, you have, um, I mean, there's a lot of general managers and, and services like this that basically uh, provide you certain tools, but you need to upgrade to use a certain tool. And uh, we at Smoovo try to make things very simple for everyone. And basically with, within all the tools that you see uh, in our software, you are able to use them for the same price. So there's no difference in terms of that. That's what we call all tools, one subscription. Um, within that, you have access to the channel manager, which is basically uh, a synchronization through uh, to all the channels, uh, Airbnb, Booking.com, Expedia, and so on. Um, we have run about 100 channels that you can connect through and the top um, channels such as Airbnb and Booking and Agoda and Expedia, they're definitely through API. So um, the connection uh, between them and us um, is definitely on the API level. Um, you also have access to the reservation system, which, we, which is a, a PMS where you can basically uh, manage your earlier reservations. Uh, you have access to the pricing sync. So basically what we do is we don't do dynamic, dynamic pricing. That's, that's, that's why uh, that's, you know, beyond pricing uh, software. Uh, but what we do is basically because we're connected to, to the channels via channel manager, uh, you can, we are the ones that sending the prices for, to all these channels, right? So um, within Smoovo software, you will see the, the prices section and you're gonna see uh, basically the like the table for each of your units. Uh, and uh, what we do with the connection with Beyond Pricing is that they send us the price and then we send them to the channel. Um, you also have access to a booking website. So you can create a booking website uh, for your own unit. Um, that means that you can uh, either enable uh, a booking engine, which is the next feature, 
and accept uh, online payments via PayPal and Stripe. Uh, or you can, if you don't want to, if you don't want to have your own uh, your website with a Booking Engine, uh, then you can just you know have it uh, as a presentation with some photos and your calendar. Um, the Booking Engine is basically also a separate feature because it can be enabled on the Booking website as well. Uh, but if you already have a website, you can basically grab the code, which is a, 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 an iframe, so to say where you can embed it onto your website and just basically enable your website to be booked. And those features or booking engine doesn't have any commission at all. So uh, that's also a good thing. So whatever you get through that website or through the, or via's booking, uh, or Smoobo's booking engine, you basically are not paying any commission except for PayPal and Stripe, right? That's, I think that's just common sense. Um, and then we also have the possibility to unify your communications, meaning you don't have to log in throughout, uh, you know, Airbnb, Booking.com, uh, Extranet to talk with your guests. So basically, you can just bundle everything in Smoovu and just text your uh, customers or sorry, your, your guests uh, via this 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 messaging feature. And the possibility is also there to create uh, automated templates. Basically, you can define a lot of templates based on different triggers. And uh, I don't know, for example, um, a welcome message or a thank you for your booking message um, and so on. So there's a lot of, uh, uh, you can basically optimize all your work and really save a lot of time. Um, we also have a, a, a guest guide, which is a responsive, 100% responsive, let's say web page that you can also send via your uh, unified communications where basically you can create a single uh, guide for your unit. Um, you, can you can add Wi-Fi credentials, you can add maps, you can add uh, basically uh, house rules. You can also add, for instance, uh, uh, um, Nuki codes for, uh, for key locks. Um, and basically you create this for one, 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 st one time and basically you can send them dynamically to, to all the bookings, right? So what Smubu does, it grabs all the information about the booking, the guest name, uh, check-in, check-out and all of that. And you can basically send that dynamically to your guests so they have all the information. Um, and at last, uh, we also provide, of course, a lot of statistics that you usually don't have, or at least you have to do it manually, uh, which is definitely a pain, um, you can really just gather all the information and the KPIs about your uh, or your bookings, such as uh, revenue, cancellations, uh, you know, like occupancy rate per portal, and basically have it in a central way. So you don't really have to do anything else than just look at Smoovus dashboard. Um, so that that's basically um, the, 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 let's say the panel of Smoovus tools. And like I said, this is, just you have access to this and more. You can you can look at it at .com, but we don't make any difference. And as soon as you sign up for Smoovo, you have access to these tools. Um, well, also very important, and I because I'm also old, um, and I also you know uh, did my my trials here and there. Um, one of the things that really just you know is annoying is that people uh, or channel managers just ch charge you on block. Right? So you, if you have one to five, five to 10 units and so on. So what we do at Smooth, it's pretty easy. So we charge only per unit, meaning uh, we charge you on the monthly payment, 19 euros for your first unit. And then for, e for each additional unit, five euros. Uh, if you wanna pay yearly, you have automatically a uh, discount from 20%. So you paid 15, 20 for the first unit and four euros for each additional unit. I think this is, um, I mean, we think it's more, which is a very, it's a way more fair price because uh, yeah, like I was saying, you don't need to pay on block and uh, the odds that you have uh, between, you know, five and 10 and 10 to 15, uh, it, it's very low. So you either have probably four or six. So you're basically paying here at Smoovo for, uh, for the units that you have. And I think when this pricing is not just very simple but it also makes us one of the cheapest um, channel managers or let's say uh, all-in-one solution for, for uh, vacation rentals. Um, just two or three KPIs about Smoovo. So we manage uh, or we connect you to uh, 100 plus channels, uh, like I was saying, Airbnb, Booking, uh, Expedia, Goda, and so all of them. 
Uh, we also have a lot of uh, niche portals like um, local ones like here in Germany and uh, other others for around the world. Uh, we manage 70,000 act active listings. Um, we manage 200,000 plus uh, bookings per month. Uh, our uh, software team, uh, sorry, our support team uh, talks several languages and is available six days per six days per week. So I think uh, this is also very important um, because uh, you know uh, having support ready for you is I think one of the key features for uh, for having serve, serving such software. Um, and we also, um, I mean, you you can see by our reviews. Uh, we have 300 plus uh, five-star custom reviews that you can read them on smoothie.com slash reviews. I think that's also very important so you can see what other people like you just talk about us. Um, and we have in business, we are in business since 2014. So we have six, six years of experience. So we think we have been building um, uh, a lot of tools um, that provide value to you. And like I said, I'm, I myself are host, so many of the uh, the managing team of about Smoovo and a lot of the support team at Smoovo they are also hosts. So we, I think, we understand basically uh, what we all need and um, the value that we need in terms of software. Um, and that's basically it. I mean, you can sign up for Smoovo for a 14 day trial. Uh, we are based in Europe, we're based in Berlin, so uh, we all have a lot of people that come from all over all over the world to, you know, that can help you with support. So we, we talk English, German, Italian, French, Spanish, uh, Portuguese, and Greek. So that's just basically a small uh, presentation about Smoovo for the people that don't really, um, or just came uh, throughout uh, Beyond Pricing. Uh, I mean, if you have any questions, just basically just shoot us a question. Uh, we are here to help you. And um, let's, I think, uh, move on to Barbara. And Barbara will talk to you uh, a little bit through um, or maybe, maybe, sorry, I forgot the, maybe we can show you the connection. Um, I just passed that through. So basically uh, I can also show you here is, uh, as soon as you activate the Smoovo's dashboard uh, to connect uh, beyond pricing, you go to settings and uh, within the settings, uh, you can go to integrations and partnerships and uh, you will find beyond pricing. And here you have your API key that you can connect uh, to beyond pricing. As soon as you have your account of Beyond Pricing, uh, you just had the, the, AP, the API, and I think Barbara was going to tell you a little bit about that. But uh, I, for instance, I have here my, uh, as you can see, my my units. I have three units in Portugal, uh, what, which are connected to uh, Beyond Pricing. Um, and yeah, so I think Barbara is going to tell you a little bit about, about this. I hope we can bring you some value in terms of, uh, yeah, smart pricing for next year. And uh, thank you, Barbara. Thank you, Hugo. Uh, let me just quickly take over the screen share. All right, Hugo, can you see my screen? Uh, you're muted. Sorry, yeah, I can see the screen. Okay, perfect. So welcome everyone, and thank you for joining us this afternoon on the True Value of Beyond Pricing joint webinar by us, Beyond Pricing, and Smoobu, your property management system. My name is Barbara. I am a sales executive at Beyond Pricing since July this year. Before Beyond Pricing, I had the chance to build relationships and network across all over Europe. I spent the last eight years helping my stakeholders to grow and achieve their revenue targets with the help of different software as a service solutions within all three major segments of the hospitality industry, leisure, corporate, and MICE, which stands for meetings and events on the hotel side. Joining Beyond Pricing was the next logical step in my professional career, which allows me to transfer my skills and expertise into the vacation rental industry with the objective to help property managers like yourself to successfully master the concept of dynamic pricing. Before we jump in the presentation, I would like to um, go through a quick housekeeping rule. Due to the size of today's webinar and time constraints, we will not be doing a live Q&A. 
please feel free to submit questions in the Q&A box, then we will respond directly to you immediately following the webinar. Or you can reach out and request a tailored demo for your portfolio. Let's jump in, shall we? So today's agenda. I would like to talk about who we are and, sorry, who we are work with, what is dynamic pricing, I will explain the concept and a little bit of meat busting as well. And we will do a product demonstration. Dynamic pricing is not a new concept. Airlines, hotels, hotel chains are using it a long time ago. Our original founder, Ian McHenry, back in the day helped to write the algorithm for intercontinental hotels, Aeromexico, Hawaii Airlines, and others. We tailor-made the concept of dynamic pricing specifically for the needs of the vacation rental industry. Right now, we have more than 70 employees, including six revenue management experts, a world-class support from our customer success team, support team, and more. Our headquarters is in San Francisco, California, but we have offices in Lisbon, London, Barcelona, and Australia. Currently, we manage over 250,000 plus listings and working over 500 property managers and thousands of owners. We started our European expansion in 2019, and by now we have clients all across Europe. This, what you can see, is a snapshot of a few of the major clients we are working with. Because Beyond Pricing is a tailored solution, it allows us to work with small, medium, or even enterprise size clients as well. Perhaps you recognize or know some of them. We are proud to say that our partners see 10 to 40% increase in booking revenue shortly after we start to work together. So I've been talking about dynamic pricing since the beginning, but what is it exactly? Dynamic pricing is the practice of varying the price for a product or service in response to real-time supply and demand fluctuations, in particular, charging a higher price at a time of greater demand and a lower price at a time of a lower demand in order to maximize your revenue. The goal of dynamic pricing is creating efficiencies in regards to market supply and demand. The major difference between dynamic pricing and flat pricing is that the daily rate is automatically changing according to shifts in both supply and demand. This takes a majority of the usual of the manual flat pricing strategy tasks away and gives you property managers more time to focus on what really matters, your business and your clients. And no, no dynamic pricing tool or solution is completely hands-off. Hence, our tool is not a set and forget tool. It's very important, but it will give you a smarter and more efficient pricing strategy. You might wonder how guests will react to this. Well, with the rise of price yielding and dynamic pricing strategies in the hotel and airline industries, guests have already been educated on the concept of dynamic pricing and understand that when they book, they can expect to pay more, a premium, if you like, for a more in-demand period or for the year compared to a less demanded period. The market dictates and determines how to increase pricing during high demand, as well as help maintain occupancy level during low demand in order to avoid that the property becomes unsold. The markets are constantly changing and so should your pricing. 
This, what you can see, is the occupancy chart of a major all year round warm destination we pulled from our system back in September. The blue or turquoise line, what you see on the chart, is the occupancy in the given neighborhood where the property is during the last year. And the black line represents the forward looking current occupancy. Every single property has its own market data. We can easily identify similar trends in the historical data compared to the upcoming data. You might wonder why am I saying next year and last year or past year when in both case it is 2020? Well, one of the main component of our secret sauce is forward-looking data. Therefore, the day zero, let's say, it's always today's date, the day when you're looking at your charts, the day where we are at the moment. In case of this chart, it is the 15th of September. So everything before the 15th of September is last year, the last 12 months with the blue line. And everything which is from the 15th of September onwards is next year. So the next 12 months, the black line. For instance, we can see that there is an increased demand for Christmas and New Year's Eve. And that the summer of 2021 here is already being booked. Therefore, it is very important to make pricing decisions based on the data because we want to know what we have achieved versus the market, what our goals are moving into the future and what we have currently on the books. Nowadays, it is crucial to have the market data and be able to compare our performance, not only internally, but also externally. The reality is that Markets are dynamic, volatile, and they are in constant change. It's not the same a Tuesday during February than a Tuesday during August. And all the markets, regions, even neighborhoods behave completely different one from the other. To summarize, market data rapidly shows tendencies for specific dates far into the future and that can help you capitalize on specific events by maximizing peak rates. The availability left in the market can help you to understand how are you pacing versus the market and adapt your strategy to constantly changing conditions. So we talked about peak dates, specific events, but how does it look like from a seasonality and weekend to weekday fluctuation point of view. All markets are different and your pricing strategy, as I said, should be based on the trends given on a specific day. Using dynamic pricing means including seasonality and day of the week patterns, be able to detect and take profit of hyperlocal events include booking lead times into the equation and many other indicators that are continuously changing day by day during the whole year. This has become key to increase revenue and maximize profitability. For example, during low season, you can focus on reducing your minimum night stays so you can attract all the demand driven by weekend stays. And on the other side, during high season, you can put the emphasis on increasing your daily rates for the common weekly stays. The truth is that the ideal rate for any day and units is very different across different markets. Therefore, it is crucial to understand the market dynamics to be able to achieve that value. So we have been talking about dynamic pricing, 
the market data, but how does it look like, you might ask. Well, dynamic pricing looks like this. As we said, having a fully dynamic strategy allows you to increase your revenue by maximizing occupancy during low season and getting even higher daily rates during high season. Having your pricing based on the market data will give you a complete picture of how, when, and where is the market getting booked and will help you to understand how you can adapt your pricing strategy. Sometimes you might know there is a demand, but still leave 10 to 30% on the table for the main events and bank holidays. Case in point here on the chart, Christmas and New Year's Eve. Or sometimes you leave a lot on the table for a specific season. For example, high season here, the July, August period. So we just talked about what is dynamic pricing. Now let's do some myth busting and let's see what is not dynamic pricing. Here are some myths that dynamic pricing, pricing isn't and that I wanted to get ahead of and talk to you about today. Number one, when you move to dynamic pricing, it isn't suddenly mean that you are going to run like a hotel and you will have to accept one night bookings. In fact, most of our clients do not accept one night, one, not even two night bookings. Majority of our clients are in traditional vacation rental markets, usually required three night minimum stays during low season and five or even seven night minimum during high season. As I said before, although the roots of that concept are in hotelry, but we tailored it specifically to your needs, to the needs of vacation rental industry. Number two, we never set prices based on what others change, charge, based on what your competitors set. Reason being, we don't know what was behind that pricing decision, what led them to set that specific rate. What if they have no idea about what they're doing? Do you really want to cheat from a student who is failing the exam? Our pricing recommendation is always and purely based on the market supply and demand, and every property has its own market data. If your competitors are starting to lower their rates, but we see that the market dictates otherwise, we're not going to recommend you to lower your rates. You don't need to needlessly enter into a price war and drive your daily rates down. Because if there is one thing we know, probably the hardest is to bring back the once lower daily rates. Number three, the third aspect of dynamic pricing that people get often mixed up on is that we are trying to get 100% occupancy. We do want to put ourselves into a position to get booked every day if possible, but we are not going to drop rates to the floor in order to get those bookings. Furthermore, the minimum price which you are going to set according to your agreement with your owner will prevent this, even if there is a promotional offer in place. What we are trying to maximize is your total revenue minus cost, so we want to maximize your profit. And the last one is that we do not require channel parity. You can still set the different premiums for different OTAs. Whatever the markups are for the different channels, they still behave and work the same way that happens today. The third section today is beyond pricing overview. Today, this overview is really going to be going to focus on Smubu on a Smubu use case. We do have integrations with other property management systems, 
And we do have the ability to integrate directly with Airbnb, VRBO, and Booking.com. Smoopo being a property management system is how we work with them is similar to other systems. Beyond pricing is your central pricing engine. Every night we're going out into the market and we are looking at the market data. We are calculating 365 daily rates for every, for every of your units. And we are pushing those rates into Smugu every single day. You will never have to copy rates from last year again, or going to research when the bank holidays are, what day of the week is Easter falling, or what week of April is Easter. All these events and holidays can change date. And we are taking that manual process off from your plate. And you will always have a year of optimized pricing in front of you. So all these feeds into Smobu and Smobu then applies markups, any type of booking fees, premiums, extras, and also your minimum stay rules. Basically, they take care of packaging up those rates, then sending them to your website and all the other channels you are posting to so you can get booked on those rates. Now we know that rates are getting from beyond pricing to channels via Smobu, but moving forward, you might ask, what is controlling my rates? What is happening automatically? And what kind of actions am I responsible for? All these are very relevant questions. Let's take a closer look. I'd like to make clear that there are only three things that is adjusting your rates, your settings, occupancy data, and our algorithm. Your settings, which means base price, minimum price, and your last minute discounts. These are the settings that you are responsible for. You will set these up for each listings individually, and we can help you to do that. I will elaborate further on base price when we will be in the tool. Occupancy data. We will walk through in the tool what the occupancy data looks like, but essentially it is market data. We are going, getting our market data from the major OTAs, such as Airbnb, Booking.com, Expedia, and VRBO. Our algorithm is taking your base price and how the market is booking up at large, and we are using that to set 365 days rates. We do have the ability to push our pricing further than a year. You just need to reach out to our support team and make your request. The default setting in the tool is one year. However, if you are working in a market where people are booking weddings or graduations farther than a year in advance or rebookings from existing guests, we can push the pricing out further. The main and most important key takeaway here is what I already mentioned before, that we are not using competitors rates or market averages to come up with pricing suggestions. If you have a luxury unit, a unique unit, we are not going to discount your property because of how it is relates to others. We are not using historical rates either. We do look at historical market data, but I will talk about it again in the tool. But if you create an account with us and you connect to Beyond Pricing, one thing that you will be able to do is to compare your rates versus our recommended rates on a pricing chart. If you see that, two trend, that the two trend lines are similar, it is simply because you have been in your market some time ago and you know your market, hence, in terms of seasonality, you should be seeing a similar trend line. What you will also see that big and special events, bank holidays are going to be priced differently and certain seasonality are higher or lower.
Now let's jump on the tool. To showcase the tool, I'm going to log into one of the property that Hugo has on Beyond Pricing. And I'm talking about the fur uh, further of the base price, market data, and the algorithm specifically for his listing. This listing is the Jardim. Every property, as I said, has its own market data tab. This is showing you the occupancy data that we are using to help set rates. Although we do show you the average price on Airbnb and HomeAway, but as I said before, <clears throat> we are not copying off these rates. We just want you to see how your rates compare to the market. So your price, your price here would be on turquoise, Airbnb is on red, and home away on navy blue. The most important thing really is neighborhood occupancy because occupancy data is what we are using to predict demand. And what this is on is graph showing, depending on your date range, is the percentage of properties booked on this day. So for example, we can see that in February 2019, the property was booked 43-49%. However, under Turquoise in 2020, so this year January, was 41%. But what is neighborhood, right? You might ask. It is a custom cluster of units around this property that we are using to base that neighborhood off of. There is not a set perimeter. We don't set it X kilometer far out into a radius. We have an internal team, a team of revenue experts that hand build every single market and clusters by pulling in listings from Airbnb, Booking.com, Expedia, and VRBO into our platform. In our database, we have been analyzing every single listing that exists on these channels since 2013. On the chart, we can go back to last two years as well, as you can see the purple line. So till even 2019, December the 7th. And with the turquoise, you see from 2019, December 7, till today. Before COVID hit in March, we can see that the occupancy was higher last year compared to 2019. If you compare here in March, we can see that 2020 was actually 54% high, although 2019 was 42%. Normally, this is the trend we see that year over year, the occupancy in the markets increases. However, we know what happened and we can see that from the moment the, the COVID restrictions were applied in the market, unfortunately, the occupancy was way below the previous year occupancy, except in August and September, where we got pretty close and if we look at, at the end in November, we had a few dates, end of November, beginning of December, when we were be able to even go higher, that demand was even higher compared to the previous year. So the trends are changing every year 
and every single external factor has an impact on. Hence why historical occupancy is important. But you can imagine if we would not look at future occupancy, we would not be able to spot those higher demand dates in the future, as we can look at here in November or for example, March. That would give us probably a loss. The market has suffered due to COVID and this becomes increasingly more important. If we see ahead of time those sweet spots in August and September and November, we can make sure that we maximize our revenue for those peak dates and we won't leave money on the table. So the true value here is because you will be able to see how is the market is getting booked up and how you're getting booked compared to that. And from that, you can easily see if you are underpriced or overpriced. If you are overpriced, you simply don't get booked. If you're underpriced on the other hand and leaving money on the table during high season is really hard to identify. To help you, what our platform is doing is looking at the historical data and against that, the future, which is the dark blue line on the, on the chart. The blue line is looking at the same group of properties that we looked at in the past and looking up future dates and checking how are we booking up this year. The future occupancy is really important because one year differs from the next year, case in point, COVID. So you saw in historical data how seasons and fall was different year over year, but also events and holidays change dates. We are looking at the forward looking data and checking how are we performing versus historical data and see if we should be more or less aggressive on certain dates in terms of pricing. When we see ahead in time that the season or peak dates are outperforming the previous year, we are automatically increasing the rates. This is how our algorithm works. So by looking at the charts, you see already that we have for December 31st, which is a peak date, New Year's Eve, a higher period, a higher demand. However, we are not as close as it usually be uh, due to the different restrictions because of COVID. And you can see that this future occupancy following the previous year, although is not as sharp because we're not that ahead in time. But we see that, for example, the high season we know about, it's already 15, 18, 16% booked for that time. We can see beginning of April, what we're predicting, predicting for uh, Easter, for example, that we have already a little bit less than 20% demand on the market. Moving forward, chart. Chart tab is the starting point with the base price, which is our starting point of all of our pricing fluctuation. In this chart view, these blue or violet dotted lines is our base price. which is not the highest price, not the lowest, is kind of the average price and your main level for the property. We start with this base price and depending on how much demand there is for each day historically, and how do we predict this looking into the future, the algorithm will calculate the recommended rate for the given date in the chart, which will translate into your day-to-day -day calendar view. This chart basically showing you the bird's eye view of your pricing over the next 12 months. Starts with December 7, today, 2020, and ends December 7, 2021. You can see of the curve, the seasonality changes. So you can see that 
we have in April a peak date around Easter, and then it slightly starts to increase until it gets to its peak during high season August. And then from that point onwards, as the seasonality go curve um, decreases, it goes down as well. Then you see the big peak dates such as Easter, Christmas and New Year's Eve. And those little, little mini spikes, which is more visible here, are the weekend and weekdays fluctuation. As I mentioned, all this will translate into your day-to-day -day pricing under calendar view. So this is the calendar view of your unit. Under calendar view, as I mentioned, we translate the market data occupancy into your rates and we break them into three different buckets. Remember the three main components we discussed has an impact of your pricing day-to-day -day pricing when it comes to dynamic pricing. So we keep using here the same three metrics. And if you hover over with your mouse any of the given dates, you will see how the recommended rate looks like. You see the base price, the seasonality fluctuation, the day of the week, and events and holidays. For each night, we are starting with your base price. In this case, for the 11th of December is 69 euros. And then we're adding or subtracting for the seasonality, day of the week, and if there is any event or holiday that will pop up as well. So for example, 31st of December, you see base price is 69, and then we subtract 16 euros for seasonality, but Christmas, New Year's Eve is the event, which is plus 15, and the day of the week it's Thursday, which is plus one euro, and we end up with 69 euro as a final price. Same for 1st of January. Or if we move to April and we see Easter, the same, starting with 69 for seasonality because it's April, and the end of the day is not high season, we subtract 10 euro. Then for Easter, because it's a very important event, we add 10 euro and day of the week, Thursday again, one euro and the final predicted price is 70. Now let's look at overrides and additional functionalities. Each listing has its own calendar. And if you want to override our rates you just need to highlight the day of the month or the period you want to override and set the rates or percentage what you prefer. So you can see how I highlight it. And under manual override, you can increase by percentage, decrease by percentage, or you can set just a given price. It's that simple and easy. In addition, under Customize tab, you can add your minimum price per season. So you don't need to worry about taking a low season rate during high season. Under this tab, you can also set the minimum stays, seasonality as well, seasonally as well. So we can ensure that optimal occupancy during low season. So as I mentioned, the minimum, you can see here, Hugo already set up different minimum price for different seasons. And the minimum stays, his annual minimum stay is four. But of course, if you have a very fluctuating market and you know that that your high season differs a lot from low season, then you can set different high season and low season uh, minimum prices and of course, minimum stays. We have a lot of clients who's using um, high season minimum stay, five or even seven days minimum. And of course, those last minute discounts. We know that clients who are booking with several months or even a year long, ahead or year-long booking window, they are not price sensitive.
But when we are getting close to certain dates or seasons, and we don't see the occupancy we would like to achieve, you can use and boost your occupancy with last minute discounts. Now here, um, Hugo set up a 10% price increase when we are four days before checking day. You know your markets and you will be able to see based on the market data and your charts, how you are getting booked up when when you're approaching certain dates and what is the occupancy level, what you would like to achieve. The last part which I wanted to show is basically the dashboard. This is what you will see where you enter beyond pricing tool. The most important metrics are your bookings, health score, hit minimum, blocked and the price. So the bookings will always indicate you the number of bookings during the last 14 days. Under health score, you will always see your current situation. How are you pacing compared to the market? We have two metrics for the next 30 days and the next 90 days. And this will show you compared to the market, how your property is performing. So this property, the Jardim, for example, for the next 30 days, the market is booked up 34% and the property is booked for 30%, which is just right. If we look at the next 90 days, which is much further in time, we already see that the, that the market has been booked by 29% and the property is 10% which is a little bit too low, but because it's 90 days ahead, so practically three months, I wouldn't be worried too much because as we are going ahead in time, this um, uh, pace will be optimized. If in the next 30 days, next 90 days, there would be a special event or something very important, then it would be something would be important to look into because we want to make sure that we have the right booking pace and the right pricing. But overall, everything about 70%, as this is as well, is a very good health score. And that's why we said here is good. So basically, this is your feedback loop on how well your property is pacing and how well your base price is honed in, how well your base price is performing. If we see for the next 30 days here that it's too fast, so instead of just right, you would see too fast. That would mean we're leaving money on the table. You're getting booked up too quickly and probably we need to increase those rates. We need to increase the base price slightly to make sure that you're not leaving money on the table and vice versa. If you would see for the next 30 days that is too low and we see that the appetite of the market is actually higher that probably means that your, your, your base price is a little bit too high and we would recommend to decrease with a couple of percentage. And then here you have hit minimum, which shows you what is the percentage of the rates which you're getting on minimum price. This doesn't mean that you have to lower your minimum price. We are aware that you have maintenance costs. This is our way to tell you that you can increase your occupancy, but for that, you need to reduce your minimum price because potentially you're losing bookings here for a lower rate. And then you would see blocked. Of course, you have dates and periods which you um, block it for owners or maintenance. We want to make sure that it doesn't impact your um, booking pace. So you will see here what percentage of your portfolio of the unit is being booked, uh, blocked for the year. And under price, you will have a quick glance. You can have a quick, quick glance on what is your base price and minimum price. So that would be the tool. Jumping back quickly to the presentation. Oh. 
if following this webinar, you plan to create an account with us and go live, this slide can be your cheat sheet with the three main and most important settings and metrics you want to always keep an eye on or regularly adjust. As we discussed, the base price being your main lever is what we definitely recommend to fine tune and adjust accordingly and regularly in order to optimize your booking pace. Minimum price is your guardrail in pace. It should be different according to seasonality. And if you see that the market dictates a lower minimum price, as we just discussed, in order to increase or maintain occupancy, adjustment might be needed. And lastly, your health score is your feedback loop of those prices and how uh, on, on those of the base price and how fast, slow or just right your property is pacing compared to the market for the next 30 and 90 days. If you have the chance, I would recommend to make a screenshot perhaps of this because it can come handy. So how to get started, you might ask. You can create an account with us and connect your Smoobo account or channels as Hugo was showing you. And on the website, you can find help documents. You can also use the cheat sheet uh, to set up your base and minimum price. And if you feel stuck, you can always contact our support team. So you just need to go on the website beyondpricing.com and then create an account. And lastly, what does it cost? So beyond pricing charges one or 1.25% 1 of new booking revenue generated on your properties using our dynamic pricing tool. And it depends of course, your size and pricing plan. We do have a 30 days free trial for self-starters that automatically starts the day you enable our pricing for your very first property. Here at Beyond Pricing, one of our core value is we are on the same team. We believe that we are only successful if you are successful. All these clients have different size of portfolio and face different challenges, but we help them through their struggles and guided them towards success. Thank you. All and right. I Sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. Uh, thank you so much, Barbara, for the presentation. Um, so just, just a quick uh, overview about, um, so I, I can talk, by personal experience that, um, I mean, smart pricing has a, lot, a huge impact uh, and had a huge impact you know, since I have it uh, connected to my account uh, because really can, you know, um, tweak your prices and rates uh, because you, you're not able to, uh, unless you have a, a sort of like someone that it really just goes through it every day and uh, it's really impossible to create uh, uh, pricing according to all the events, all those variables, uh, neighborhood and all of that. So I really um, you know, um, advise anyone that is connected to Smoovo and of course, anyone who's looking to this webinar to have a look into to the connection. Um, so one, one last thing that I would just jump in here and just share my screen for a second, um, just to make sure that everyone uh, knows. Um, so basically, uh, as soon as you have uh, Beyond pricing is connected and all the settings. Uh, you can go your the prices section, and as you can see, um, you we basically have a sort of a table, uh, like I was mentioning before, in terms of how the prices uh, are connected. So everything here, as you see, so all prices are being overwritten by Beyond Pricing. So basically, uh, even if you do something here, uh, Beyond Pricing will then uh, overwrite them uh, into our tool. So uh, if you're changing prices into to that term, uh, please change, change them on Beyond's pricing uh, platform. 
uh, this is basically as soon as you have connected a smart pricing, this is basically just for your for your, mainly your information. But um, you can definitely do this uh, at any time. Um, and as you see here, uh, this is this these are the, the the settings, meaning the pricings that I have on my account. And as you can see, uh, they are all different according to the to the days. And Barbara showed you before, especially here in terms of Christmas and New Year's. Um, and we also uh, send to the channels the minimum nights. So uh, Barbara showed you that you can actually uh, change the minimum night according to the settings. And this is basically what we're doing, right? In this term, I have defined four nights, but if there's a booking with a, with a certain gap, I extended it or I decreased it, the minimum stay through my Beyond Pricings account that is sending to Smoobu to two days. So, I mean, if I have three nights um, and uh, I want to still monetize them, but I have initially defined four minimum nights, those three nights are not going to be bookable, right? So with that change on the settings, I'm able to at least try to book that gap. Um, and I mean, that's basically it. You can, you can also, um, what you can also do when you should do by, uh, on Smoogle is, um, so Beyond Pricing is sending you a, a, a price tag uh, to that current date. So what you can do is basically on Smoovo actually change or head a markup to the pricing, okay? So each platform has different commissions. Um, right now, Airbnb is still 14% or it's they, they're gonna launch today, right? The, the 15th. Um, so uh, booking is 16.1, I guess, because of the price with the, with the uh, payment uh, commission on top. So what I'm doing here is basically I define the 15% or still 14th right now um, as a zero. And I'm still adding, I'm adding booking.com a 2% extra, okay? So uh, as soon as you click override prices, uh, Smooth is gonna send basically the base price that is sent from Beyond Pricing plus that percentage. So, and this is also works uh, if you have your own Smooth website uh, in this case is set up to 100%. What you can also do is make your prices on Beyond Pricing for your own website. And then really on the markup had, uh, I don't know, 14, 15% to, to the Airbnb and booking and basically having your own website as commission free. Um, so that's, that's more or less it. Um, I think that both tools are, self-explainable but i mean if you guys if you guys have any any um any question i i'm sure that our teams will you know just uh, try to provide you with the best uh, support as we can we also have a lot of tutorials and a lot of videos how to connect this and make this work but um yeah i mean thank you so much for your time and hopefully uh, you guys set up your prices for 2021 and uh, surely uh, yeah, we hope all the best because of Corona with the vaccine, things seem to be quite opening now. So that's very positive. Uh, and myself, I already have a couple bookings for next year. So uh, yeah, I mean, thank you so much for your time. Absolutely. We see that we see that the markets are reacting already for the for the vaccines. Yeah. Uh, just to add a little here. Um, and yes, thank you again for your time. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.